Okay, so it was on this video that was talking about how this woman was violated in a way of um people are so wishy washy. They are she was violated as a well, she was violated by another female. And she was speaking on that. But what caught my attention was a person that commented on the video and the question that kind of made it make sense in a way. So yeah, this is a video about being violated. If I'm gonna post Her first experience with the first, the same sex. Um, and the person asked, what if someone of another religion showed interest in you on that level? What's your mindset? What's your mindset towards that? So basically, of the same religion, they worship, you know, praise the same God, but the same sex is showing you that same behavior, you know, the same, that it's, it's showing you interest. When I first, when I, that, what just came to mind when I read that was like, well, obviously they're not of the same religion, because of your religion why would you show interest in a person when you know it's not the appropriate behavior? But, well, she commented, she said, through intentions and consistency, that ultimately determines the outcome. I like that response. It was like, a hey, smooth. I feel the same, but I also feel like depending on the individuals, it can be a barrier by way of ideology and nature. And then that's what she said, religion is a personal choice. I do what works for me. So it can be something of, you know, praise, worship to comfort the thought of, or to comfort the thought or comfort the idea uh, that makes them feel nurtured in a way. Basically, like this is, you see this religion as something such as a bottle. You know, you see this bottle, you have this bottle, you're the baby. The baby is being nurtured by this milk in the bottle, and the milk in the bottle is the religion, you know, that you're worshiping, the, the faith, your faith and stuff. And this is just to nurture you to grow, for growth and development. Um, and this growth and development that they're saying could be a barrier. You know, this growth, this milk, and you being nurtured constantly could be interference in a way of, you know, now I whatever is for you, such as this person who has interest in you, you can't, you're you not being weaned off of that bottle. You're not being weaned off of this, your faith and your religion that's only supposed to grow, that was only supposed to grow for your growth and development for a certain amount of time, such as, let's say, um, The powder, you know, the, you know how you get, um, I don't forgot what that stuff was. I ain't using it so long. Um, the, the baby, you know, that, um, basically, okay, so let's just use the mother's breast. You know, your, the, your mother is your faith, your religion, your Bible, and you are the baby, and you know, the milk is the word of God. So eventually you're supposed to be weaned off of this. You know, you've been nurtured, you've developed, you've grown to where now it's time to, you know, introduce you to something else. And maybe, 
me trying to intro I'm trying to introduce you to something else, but you can't get your list. You know, you can't get your um you're not you don't want some you don't want what's next for you because you're so attached. You're so attached to the point where it's kind of interfering with your growth and de development. Now you're receiving too much of something that was only supposed to be for a certain amount of time for this area of life for you to grow, but now it's kind of altering your growth. It's kind of, you know, now you can't grow the way you're supposed to because you're not wanting to let go, you know. So that's what he's saying. It can be a barrier by way of ideology for a certain amount of time to only nurture this, you know, this phase, this part of your life. And now what's next for you could be this woman, could be this person that's interested in, in you, you know. And this, the fact that this person is of the same nature, <clears throat> um not the same nature, but is of the same faith and the same religion, this could be your next step to weaning you off of the first step. You know, she could be your next step. Now you have to latch on to this person in order for you to grow some more. So, but the, that's what he's saying. You know, you're kind of stuck because now you're so, you're stuck in one phase that you can't move on to the next phase of your life. And I was like, wow, that is, what he said was was just wow. And then she replied, A, hey, religion is a personal choice. I do what works for me. So, yeah, basically, she, that was basically his perspective, and her perspective was, you know, religion, I'm, I'm going to stick with what works for me. Um, so, yeah, and I, I just responded, you know, I responded basically interpreting what he spoke on. But, yeah, that was just, you know, I kind of had to break it down for a minute, but I'm like, wow, you know, that kind of makes sense. It makes sense in a way, you know. So, yeah.